This little oil I'm going to be using an empty candle jar and I'm going to be using a lid which came from a separate candle jar but which fits perfectly once you remove the band. Next you're going to need some seashells and I'm just going to pick out all the different varieties that I want. I'm going to try and stick with three different kinds, the clam shaped ones, some really simple white ones and then the ones which are kind of this shaped, I don't really know how to describe them. I'm going to try and avoid seashells which stick out like this because otherwise they're more likely to knock something because they're jutting out so I'm going to try and pick shells which are as flat as possible. And now we're going to need some wall filler, a little bit of water and mix it together till it's a paste. Using a lolly stick, uh, the back of a spoon or your fingers, you're just going to do a line along the jar and once you fill this in, we're going to take the shells and slowly bit by bit press them into the filler and you don't want to bring this all the way around the jar because otherwise what's going to happen is because this is still wet and moist it's going to slide. So do a line, put the shells down, make sure that they're really nicely wedged. While it's still drying we're going to get some gems and get those in between the shells as well and just press them down. And once that section is dry enough so that you can turn it without it sliding around, we're going to move on to the next part and start filling that in too. For the edges, it's very important that you clean things up while you're doing it because otherwise later on once it's dried, it's going to be a lot harder to clean up. So just take your fingers and run it around the edges just to make sure that it's neat. Once you've covered the entire jar with the shells and the rhinestones, we're going to wait about 15-20 minutes and then with some clear nail varnish we're just going to put this over the gems because otherwise they are going to pop off because they haven't got rough edges like the seashells so there's less stuff for the filler to grip onto. So do give this two or three coats. If you weren't able to clean up the edges perfectly before, just take the soft side of a nail file and we're just going to run this over the edges just to neaten them out. That's it, you're done.